they would have replaced Christendom with their own barbarism, Where as far as I'm concerned. Where did they get the barbarism from? Well, firstly, um, from a, if you take um, the religions from a purely, say, atheistic viewpoint, they're all a product of history, product of different cultures. My view of Islam is that it's um, the product of its time. It is semi-pagan. It's so, you know, women are basically your possession. Chat cattle, and, and, chattel. Yeah, chattels. Um, and so, so you can treat it's them accordingly. It's okay to enslave? It's perfectly okay to enslave. Now, in Christianity, I don't want to give us a free pass. For us, it has been okay to enslave because we inherited that culture. But what our attitude was, you can't have sex slaves, right? You can't buy women or little girls for sex. Prostitution. Yeah, you can't, no, no. You can't buy girls for sex. You're not allowed prostitution. That's a separate thing. That's where you pay a free woman for sex. Huh? You're not allowed, you're not allowed of course you're not allowed prostitution. I'm talking about something else. What, sex slavery. Buy? Yeah, buying women. In Islam, you can buy a female On for a sex. Be like a small marriage contract. No, no, just buy her outright. She's your slave and you can have, a, have sex with her when you want and then you can sell her to another man for him to do the same with her. That's the Islamic Sharia. And then you sell, you pass the, that the when you around. When you've decided you've had enough sex with her and you might want a new woman, you sell her to another man and you buy another woman and you have sex with her. That's such heavily normally shrill. Do you know when ISIS, that group, had ran part of Syria? And uh, where Miss Bergen went? Yes. They, that, that group were buying and selling Yazidi women. Remember that? No. The Yazidis were semi-pagans. Yazidis are from where? Yazidis, they're from um, that part of the world. Yazidis, yeah. With a Y? Yeah, they were in... Not yeah. from Yemen? They're ancient religion, not from Yemen, no. Where they're are they from, from north? From the area where Islamic State was. Where is that, in Syria? Um, Syria. Um, uh, Iraq, Syria, Iraq, that, that part of the world. I don't, I can't be precise, uh, but a mountainous, are they, are they mountainous region, yes, okay. yes. And they were enslaved and used as sexual playthings by these ISIS men. And it, they justified it on the basis of Sharia law. And it is a fact, Islam, from the time of Muhammad, you could take women as sex slaves. Okay. In battle, you win them and they're yours. Yeah. Separately, you can um, buy a woman for a temporary marriage called mutter marriage. That's a different thing, but you can do that as well. That the Muslims today say, if they're, sh if, they're um, not, um, if, not, if they're not Sunni Muslims, if they're Shia Muslims, you can um, have mutter marriage today. You can rent a woman, decide on a, a contract, pay her, and you can have sex with her for like, three days or a week or whatever it is. If she agrees or if her yeah. manager yeah, agrees. Yeah, it's a free choice, right? Yeah. Oh, like, it's like going to Soho and like you can get a hotel for the night. Except this is a contract for a period of days. Yeah, but you just express that in 50 pound notes or 20 pound yes, notes. Yes, yes. That's marriage though, it's not prostitution. What's the difference? It's marriage. We would say there's no difference. Right, okay. But for their, in their law, there's, a, dif there's just, a difference. There is a difference. That's why it's called, they call it marriage. It's a way of buying a woman, yeah. but it not being a sin. Because you haven't had a child? No, because you've got a marriage. Are you allowed to use prophylactics? I don't know. Anyway, that's that. That's the, that's them. They're the um, that's one group of Muslims. The Shias. The Sunnis say you can't do that. You cannot. That's right. However, Muhammad allowed it. The founder of their religion allowed it. They say it's not allowed they were now. All fighting. They must have been horny they, and desperate. They say. Well, that's part of why it happened. It's in the Hadith. There's this question. They wanted to have sex. Fucking right, you've been fighting all day, you fucking got to get out of your system so, now. So that's what they said, and, and it, was, it was agreed they could do this. However, there's disagreement in the traditions of the Muslims as to whether Muhammad banned it in his lifetime or not. Certainly, there are traditions that say it was allowed all through Muhammad's life, and it was banned afterwards by one of the rightly guided caliphs. It's a stick it on one man though, isn't it? Like, so if, either, either way, it was allowed. Maybe some of them did it, some of them didn't. So when you ask like, me what I mean, like general, like, when I say like barbarism. The Kremlin controls everything, I'm saying, it? Once they've let I'm saying out of the bottle, Islam they can't do nothing. is barbarism because of these kinds of things. But isn't, what, and that isn't, would isn't have, any person who's that fighting, like, would like, have to barbarism. destroyed Christendom and brought a barbaric civilization here. against the 